Welcome. Today I'm going to show you a tool that we're going to use in this class. It's called PythonTutor.com. As we learn to code in Python, you may make several mistakes. Sometimes mistakes in the way you're writing the code, which, is called, which are called the syntax errors, where the code is not going to execute if it finds a mistake. Sometimes you're going to make mistakes that are logical, where you're not getting the answers that you are expecting to get. Uh, and and to find these mistakes, uh, we can either go line by line with on the code, or we can use a tool like Python Tutor. And uh, what I want to show you today is how to use a tool like Python Tutor um, that's going to really help you in your coding journey. So as you look, first you go to pythontutor.com, and as you go to pythontutor.com, what you'll see is a page something like this. And since we're learning Python, we're going to click on Python and uh, let, let us begin. Okay, so now we're at pythontutor.com and we're going to click on Python. And this is what Python Tutor looks like for what we're trying to do. Uh, the first thing we'll do is, and I'll write a simple program and I'll show you how step-by-step -step, uh, we can use uh, Python Tutor. So I'm going to go here and edit, edit this code. I'm going to write my new code. I'm, on, I'm going to write a simple program that takes two numbers that the users, user enters and adds them together and presents the answer. Okay, the first number, uh, so I'm going to create two variables, uh, num1 and num2. num1 equals if you don't understand the syntax, don't worry, you will as we go into this class. But the, the point of this video is to show you how Python Tutor works and how we're going to use it. So you'll see it now, but you can come back to it uh, as you go on your coding journey and refer to it to see how to use it. So first number, I'm going to say input, and I'm going to add the ask the user to enter the number. Please enter first number okay number number two again i'm going to create an input function i'm going to ask user to enter the second number please enter the number number i'm going to fix this and the answer is going to be equal to number one plus number two. And I'm going to print the answer. Very, very simple. One of the simplest program we're gonna write in this class. So let's see how we use Python Tutor to help us troubleshoot this little bit of code. So now I'm going to go visualize execution. So as soon as I click on this, uh, it's going to take me to uh, the next page. It's going to visualize execution. So right away, it's telling me in line one, I've asked number one, input. Please enter number one. Here, it's, it's telling me I've not terminated the string, which means I've not closed the colons, right? So now, as soon as I start, it found the first error. Let's continue. So now it's going to run the first uh, first line of the code. And what you'll see here is the red arrow is the line it's about to execute. And the green arrow will be the line it just executed. So the first number, I'm going to enter 5, submit. And you're going to see it, and it executed line first, the green arrow. And it's going to execute it line uh, line two, which is asking me to enter number two. Here you'll see it's storing five in quotations in number one, which means it thinks it is a string. So number two, I'm going to enter six. I'm going to submit again. Again, number one holds five. Number two holds six, which are both. Python thinks at this point is a string. The answer will be number one plus number two. So now 
the answer, the Python just executed in the in the variable answer is 56. Obviously, we know 5 plus 6 is not 56. 5 plus 6 is 11. So there is some problem in our code, right? So let's see what the problem is. The problem is that Python thinks these two are uh, strings. So all it's doing is, is just concatenating them, putting them together as 56. How do we fix this? Uh, it's easy to fix this. Let's edit the code again. I'm going to tell Python these two entries are not just strings. They are actually integers. So I'm going to say number one equals int number one. So I'm telling Python that number one is an integer and number two is also an int integer. Now let's see how Python executes this code line by line. So when you run Python, something like this may come up. We're just going to X out of it. So let's go first line. It's enter asking for number one. I'm going to use the same uh, inputs five. Now it's same thing we saw again. It's put five as a string in number one. It's asking for number at me to enter number two, second number. I'm going to put six and submit. And you can see that it's stored six as a string in number two. I'm now going to execute line four where I'm converting the string to an integer. Let's see what happens. Voila, now number one is an integer, not a string. And you can see how difference the difference in how Python sees it. Those quotation marks around tells you it's a string. Without the quotation marks, we know it's an integer. We're gonna do the same thing here. Number two is also now an integer. And now when we add them, the answer is 11. And that's what you see here, the answer is 11. So you see how we found a syntax error, which is a, something we had typed incorrectly, as well as a logical error, in the mistake we'd made in the logic. And this is the way we're going to use a Python tutor in the course to find errors and become better programmers.